Hey everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new, my name is Laura and I love to make budget-friendly DIYs. Today I'll be making a farmhouse style uh, riser and a couple of Valentine's Day frames for my fur babies. So if you want to see how I made them, let's get started. For the first project, I'll be using this scalloped edge wooden frame from the Dollar Tree, the letter beads, and then the pink beads of the multicolored pack. And these are all from the Dollar Tree. And I was going to use the white string there, but the uh, multicolored beads, they came with an elastic cord. So I ended, ended up using that. And that was real easy to bead because it's kind of stiff. So I didn't need a needle or anything. So that made it real, real easy. So I wanted this frame to say, love my fur babies. And I wanted to incorporate those pink beads along with it. So I just kind of laid them out the way I wanted them. And of course, just string them onto that elastic cording. Now I want to give this frame a couple coats of my chalk paint by Waverly in the color white. And I will be painting the front and the back and the little stand that it comes with. And then I thought, you know, I have this table scatter that I've been wanting to use. Um, I got that from the Dollar Tree as well. So I, I kind of laid them out where I wanted them. So they're laying there on my paper already. And I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to Mod Podge those little hearts onto my frame. First, I applied some Mod Podge in the general area where I think I'm going to lay those hearts down. Then I laid those down and then I did apply some Mod Podge on top of those and eventually I Mod Podged over the entire frame. And then there was some little splinters sticking up. So I took the sanding block and just kind of gently sanded those away and it was good to go. Okay, here is where you do not want to do what I did. <laughs> and I kept this clip in there so it could be a learning experience for, for the both of us. <laughs> so like a dingling, I glued on the heart table scatter in the wrong, going in the wrong direction. I see the little hole there for the stand. It's upside down. So I said, oh, that's okay. I will just go outside and use my husband's drill press and I will just make another hole. No problem, you know, whatsoever, right? Okay, 
I went, I drilled through the whole thing. I was supposed to just, you know, make a sinkhole and I drilled through the whole thing. So, okay. Another learning experience for both of us. Okay. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so now I'm going to take these stickers that I got. Um, and I'm just going to hide that little hole. <laughs> and I think it came out adorable. <laughs> And then I just knotted one end of the elastic cord and I'm going to drape that onto the frame itself and I'm going to hot glue that in the back. And then just to make it a little more secure, I did cut a piece of craft stick and stuck that on the back just to hold it down, you know, and make sure it doesn't move on me. Then I glued the other side, cut the excess off, and then it was done. And as I was looking at it, I just thought, you know, I just, I don't know if I like the way this is draping. So what I did is I ended up just gluing one of those pink beads up on the top there. And I liked that much, much better. And that was it for this frame. Now I did make another frame of my other, for my other fur baby, but I didn't film it because you know, you get the gist. And for the next project, I'll be making a little stand or riser. I'm going to use four of these little cauldrons uh, from, or the pot of gold for, from the St. Patrick's Day section. I'm going to use one of those bamboo cutting boards, some big pearls, the biggest size the Dollar Tree carries, and some square dowels. So, the first thing I want to do is get those handles off of those pots of gold. <laughs> and then I wanted to see and play around where I wanted the placement of my beads. And you know, you, if, if you want to remake this, you can put more beads or less beads, but this is, um, how I made mine. So here I'm just seeing how that's going to look with the little uh, what I'm calling my little balls to stand them on. And then I'm going to take my square dowel and just kind of measure it out. Now I should have used a tape measure, but I was too lazy to get it. And I did end up having to cut more times than I wanted to. And you know, it is what it is. So I started off and I just started gluing on these pearls onto the bamboo board or cutting board. And I'm gluing the whole side down. That way it'll be hidden by the cutting board itself. And then when I put the square dowels on top, it'll hide the other hole. And that's what I did. I just, I just glued on the four corners. Then I glued the middle and then I, and I just eyeballed it. I didn't measure it. If you wanted it more precise, you can, you know, definitely measure it. So 
I just kind of winged it and, and I just love the way that this came out. So yeah, just continue to glue on the pearls and then I measured out my dowels, like I said, and I just glued all the pieces together. And then once I measured out where I wanted to cut the dowels, and like I said, I did have to cut more than I needed to. I should have used a measuring tape. But anyway, I just took my miter box and a saw and just cut that dowel where I needed it. And this it wood is, it's pine wood and it's three quarter inch. So it was real easy to cut through. Oh, and I do want to mention that this dowel came from Home Depot and it was 98 cents. And then I just added some hot glue to each pearl on the top, laid the dowel down, and just proceeded to do that all the way around. It wasn't hard at all. And I'm going to glue all my pieces together, and then I'm going to take them outside and give them a few coats of the Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color white.
Did I mention I had to cut way more than I really needed to? Yeah, if you want to remake this, I suggest uh, using a measuring tape. It would have been, it would have made my life much, much easier. <laughs> Then flipping it over, you'll want to trace out your little pot of golds there on the bottom. And what I did is I just took something straight. That way um, all my um, pots will fit evenly, you know, on the bottom. So I just made sure th uh, that they were touching each flat side of the surface. I hope I'm making sense. See there, I'm just making sure that they're all gonna be in the same spot. So I just traced it with a pencil and then I'll just glue all the pieces on.
And here it is, all nice and freshly painted. Now, do you see those little holes on the top where I took the handles off? And then there's that little square design. Every time I looked at it, I just saw a pot of gold or a quad cauldron. And so I wanted to do something to change it up and kind of disguise that. So I'm going to take these round puffy stickers and I'm just going to put one right in the center of that little design right there. And I'm going to put one on each um, one of these pots. And then I did take my hot glue and I glued each one of those little holes where the handles were um, because the my paint was not wanting to go inside there and you can still see the black. So putting the hot glue there, it just looked like it was supposed to be there. And then I did add some more of those puffy round stickers to the top of each corner on the tray itself. And then I sprayed it with another coat of the white chalk paint and that just made it cohesive and it did disguise it much, much better. And I don't know if it's because I knew that there were pots of gold or if anyone else would have seen that, but anyway, you know, I have to look at it. So <laughs> this is what, how I disguised it. And I do want to mention, I did spray some matte clear finish by Rust-Oleum over the entire piece because the plastic pots of gold, the, my chalk paint kept wanting to scratch off. So this will prevent it from scratching and it'll last me for a long, long time. And here they are, all nice and done. Aren't these adorable? And I just love my fur babies. Look at that face, I just can't even. And that's our Shih Tzu Chihuahua mix. And then here is our other dog. We The vet said that she was a pit mix. Um, my daughter found her on the side of the road. So she became our spoiled little fur baby. <laughs> and she is the gentlest, gentlest dog. So this one says fur baby love. And the other frame says love my fur babies. So yeah, I love the way that this came out. It just, you know, just will add a touch to my little Valentine's, the vignette that I got going on. And there's that tray. I absolutely love it. I think I'm gonna make another one for the other side. I mean, this would be great for a candle or some just little knickknacks from the Dollar Tree. I love, love, love the way that this came out. I hope you all enjoyed my video today and I gave you some inspiration to make some DIYs for yourself. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.